Holiday Heroes has programs that not only bring joy and happiness to hospitalized children, but they also work to get these kids on a successful path to recovery. Here with more on how Holiday Heroes gets this done, Executive Director Mike Jostis and Board Member Morgan Olinsky. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you guys yeah, for, having for having us. us. I love looking at the webpage. You guys are dressed up as superheroes. Yes. I mean, seeing a kid smile is just so good for our souls and just really brings them to a better place. Yeah. It yeah. must be so heartwarming for you to be able to do something even so small. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, as you mentioned, the mission behind Holiday Heroes is to bring some joy and fun to pediatric patients. Um, and we do that through a variety of our programming. So we have our craft kit boxes, um, our mm -hmm. hero packs. We bring in costumed characters. We have volunteers come in. Um, and that's how I got involved. I was a volunteer, so I was able to dress up as Supergirl and go uh -huh. into the hospital and hang out with these kids. And the impact is immediate. Yeah. You know, like you, the second Holiday Heroes comes into the hospital floor, the energy is just risen. Yeah. And it's not just the patients, it's the nurses, the doctors, the parents. Yeah. Um, and you know, everybody's just a little bit more at ease because they know their little ones are in good hands for the next hour. Yeah. Well, before we talk about these boxes, yeah. uh, and you might tell, tell us about the, it sounds like you're with them for the whole path, the whole journey. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, like as Morgan mentioned, um, we do a number of different programs to kind of take their minds off of their hospital stay and everything that's kind of going on with their bodies and everything. We do virtual and in-person programs, so visits by costume characters, everything from Elsa, Superman, we provide over 70, 80 different types of characters. The activity bags that Morgan will mention, uh, themed gift bags. We have an interactive gaming program where kids can game against each other in the hospital, wow. which we piloted at Lurie's last year and we're gonna go to Comer's. Mm -hmm this year, or next month. Um, yeah, just anything we can do to take their minds off of everything that's going on there. So it's called Holiday Heroes, but it's not just the holidays. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah exactly. Okay. So we do stuff year round. You know, we do stuff St. Patrick's Day, down to Valentine's Day, around the holidays, fall, sports, but we also do stuff, the hero packs are offered mm -hmm. year round, so. We always it, say it's more to make the kids feel like it's a holiday, uh, right, to remind them that it is okay to have a little bit of fun, regardless of the situation that they're in. Yeah. Well, I mean, we, we've been talking about them. Let's, what yeah. are in these yeah. awesome yeah. activity packs? And so we have, um, in these boxes here, are our signature craft kits. Um, they are age specific. So okay. we have activities, there's typically three to four activities in each box, and we have activities for ages infant all the way through preteen. Um, and then we have our hero bags, which are a little bit more compact grab and go activities that we put in outpatient centers, in waiting rooms. So as you mentioned, we're with the patients the whole way from the second they check in. They can grab one of these, have a little bit distraction, do a craft, have some fun. Um, and then if they're in a longer duration stay as well, we come in and bring those parties to them. Because what we were talking about in the break, too, I mean, honestly, having, being very lucky and having healthy children and yeah. having to deal with that, the one time I had to be with my son when he was hurt, I was a wreck and he was fine. Yeah. yeah. I mean, because yeah. you're so worried about them. The amount of times you've seen the caregivers and the parents cry and the grandparents oh, cry because, yeah. you know, they're stuck in these hospitals beds for weeks at a time. It's like, yeah. so how do you occupy them? And the minute they see Elsa walk through the door, they're a oh, whole new person yeah. and they're singing and they're dancing there. So it's different person. kind of that mind over matter too. It does help improve their recovery sure. as well. Having that positive energy and attitude going through it um, is proven to speed up that recovery process as well. And so, I meant, oh sorry, go ahead. Oh no, I just was gonna say for everybody watching that you know, they wanna get involved, they wanna help out, and maybe they could be like Morgan eventually <laughs> and end yeah. up working full time. Um, like, we have yeah. so many opportunities. So volunteers are literally the backbone of our organization. We have volunteers that can help prep and pack these, corporate, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts. Uh, service groups. We have hospital volunteers. So if you guys want to dress up as Batgirls, <laughs> Batgirls, Supergirl, you guys can yeah. join us at some of our hospital parties. Uh, we have a uh, board of directors and a newly created auxiliary board for young professionals. So cool. lots of opportunities for the community to get involved. All right, Morgan, what was it like dressing up and <laughs> give me your experience seeing the kids? I'm telling you, it was so much fun. Uh, you do have to have a little bit of a backstory, though. My acting skills are Ooh. not the best. So I was, I was called out a couple of times for not being the real Supergirl, but I think I was able to, to convince them at the end. But it is, I mean, it's the second you step onto the floor, the second you step into that room, you see that smile on that kid's face, and it makes it all worth it. And just being there, hanging out with them and playing with them, giving a little bit of a distraction, it's, it's really powerful. As Mike said, you know, we've had Elsa, one of our costume characters, mm -hmm. come in and sing, and 
she sung with one of the patients and that song filled the entire hospital floor oh. and you would see like oh. doctors started crying because oh, you just hear that it's, it's, yeah. <laughs> it is, it's, it's, it's extremely powerful yeah. getting involved and just helping even if you can't get in the hospital if you can help promote our mission and our cause as mike said mm -hmm. volunteers corporate partners and you have a big event coming up oh, yeah. with our very own yes. anna balaval she yeah. is going to be emceeing the event yeah so that is our gale it's our largest fundraiser of the year we moved it to Joe's Live October 14th, and yeah, Anna's gonna be our MC. Super excited. It's about 300 guests at attend. Um, yeah, we're super excited for yeah, it. That's great. At Superhero Day is this Saturday, right? Yes. Okay, so, so a couple things that are coming up, and the, the golf outing, and then the gala, right? Yep, Lots of ways things. to get involved. We have two mm -hmm. golf outings yeah. this summer, and then Superhero Day is this Saturday at Claremont Collections downtown Chicago. Is... You can see the Batmobile, visit Batman, do crafts, oh, yeah. with a couple superheroes there. So, that, so do they bring that. kids to you guys for an event like that? Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. That's nice. So you guys can have a little so bit Lots of kind of opportunities. Yeah, there, yeah. Love that. And, Very cool. All right. Well, there is all the information there on the screen. Check out holiday-heroes.org. And, of course, check them out on social media as well. Thank you both so much Thanks. for all Thank the good work. Thank you guys so much for having us.